Hello everyone, my name is Prithvi and welcome once again to the YouTube channel of CH Simplified and in this video we are just going to install server pilot on a Linode instance and uh, install WordPress on that so uh, I hope you have seen my video before this and in that video I had uh, I discussed about how we can set up a Linode and install the Ubuntu 16.04 on that in less than 5 minutes so let's just get started so as you can see my screen I do have the Linode running uh, that is with Ubuntu 16.04 LTS long term support and the Linode is currently running and so let's just uh, the only thing we will be needing uh, is uh, the root password as well as the email uh, the IP address so I will just take the IP address and so this is server pilot I've just uh, signed up with, uh, for that and without wasting too much time let's just connect on uh, click on connect a server the IP address needs to be pasted as it is and so root password is what you have uh, set up while installing while uh, deploying the Ubuntu image on uh, the Linode instance and SFTP password is something that you are going to uh, uh, you're going to set up now so I have just put in both these things and I'll just simply click on connect to server pilot and so it is just starting to install uh, so a server pilot basically comes with a lot of scripts and a lot of programs which are needed to host a website and to run a website properly so it, it, it does have PHP uh, Apache it, ha it does have NGINX uh, web server and a lot more other things which you will be needing to learn all uh, you, you will be needing to host all the PHP websites and to run them so it does take uh, anything less than a minute or two depending on uh, I, I think the, the speed at which, uh, at which your server is responding so let's just wait for that and so server pilot is one of the most preferred choices people do use to manage their Word, uh, wordpress as well as php websites and this is because of a very very simple interface it doesn't take more than a couple of minutes to install and then all it takes is a few seconds to host any of the website and it is very very simple it does install a few of its own scripts but everything makes your server very very secure and along with making it secure it gives you a very uh, simple mechanized way to manage your uh, the server because uh, uh, managing a root line a command line server for a lot of people might be very very tricky and you know might might need a lot of technical expertise but server pilot makes that so easy for you so i am not really sure why it is not moving but it should start moving within this time so let's just wait for that and let's just see how much time it takes so our linode is running it is okay it is still checking the server so it is taking a little bit more time than usual shouldn't really be taking this much of time but let's see what has gone wrong if, if there is any issue a server pilot will notify us of uh, any possible issue which is on uh, which is there with the server but right now I think there's no issue and uh, the Linode is working so yeah it is currently running and so so pilot actually supports uh, it actually prefers the Ubuntu 14.04 or 16.04 uh, versions which come with LTS the stable long term support thing so I'll advise you to go with that uh, I will also ma be making a few videos on how you can uh, install a server pilot on a CentOS uh, server but till then I don't really see it moving let's just wait for 10 to 20 seconds more and let's see if this goes on or it is giving us some problem okay so yeah it is installing server pilot now I think there was some uh, issue with the Linode I, I think there was some issue with the response time from the Linode.com so I it, it, it is installing so it has already verified the credentials which we had 
uh, put in it has uh, connected to our Linode and the good thing is that it is installing and in, in, in a while from now we will have the server set up with server pilot so let's just wait for that and I have I think it has already taken more than the usual time this is not the first time that I'm installing a server pilot on a cloud hosting instance and it has never taken this much of time but well let's just wait for that okay so it is starting the server configurations and while we are configuration uh, while we are configuring your server to take a look at our extension to extensive documentation so it will basically give you a bit of brief about what is being installed and what is the way that server pilot works so you, you can always click on that and you can always you know if, if you are new to server pilot it will give you a lot of details which you actually need or which you should be aware of uh, obviously we'll, we will we won't be needing a lot of a lot of those details but these details are always advised if you are aware of these things so you are always uh, aware of what is going on with your server and what is actually happening on the back side of your server when you are easily running the website so it does install a lot of things now right now it is installing php 7.1 7.0 so it is installing i think uh, a lot of versions of php so that all the websites which you are hosting no matter what what php version they use are hosted on the server without any issues and you know you are completely well off with uh, running your server uh, running your websites so it is now configuring server states, app stats, and log monitoring, enabling swap space. So swap space is something that we have already uh, enabled in the Linode also. So uh, swap space is something that actually uh, makes your server more stable. And you know, at times there are a lot of uh, performance, there the, the a lo lot of instances, there are a lot of pro processes going on, and it does take care of those processes, and you know it doesn't really make your server lag so it is testing the server configuration and we shouldn't be waiting for too long from now okay boom so we're done uh, it says great you're ready to create your first app on the server and so server pilot has been installed and now you can host your websites you can just uh, so the websites are known as apps here so for every website which you will add it will count as a new app so let's let me just click on that and uh, this is the first I'll just click on that so it is asking you for uh, the name of the app so I'll just give it as CHS test a domain name is I will give anything so I'm, I'm not really going to use a domain on on this this video was just made for uh, uh, the testing purposes so let me just give CH simplified dot com this is our website also so now if you are looking to install wordpress on that all, all, all you need to play, uh, do is just to tap on this give your title username password and email these four things so i'll so i'm done with that and that's it so this is all you will need to uh, install the WordPress. I'll just click on create an app and it does not take more than a second to install Word, uh, WordPress on this. So WordPress has been installed and I can, so right now I have given a domain name for this. So you will have to point your domain names uh, DNS thing to, to this IP address. And once you're done with that, once you're done pointing your uh, domain DNS to this IP address or you will just need to go there and click on let me just go yeah DNS manager and add a domain John just do your domain whatever it is simply simplify.com your email address and just point it out to the Linode so the, at times when you have more than one Linode just select it from the drop down list point that and click on just add a master join so i will just and the moment you click that it your website starts running but uh, you need to make sure that the dns is properly configured and that's it so this was a uh, video in which we learned on how to install server pilot and how to install wordpress on a Linode instance i hope that the kind of videos the kind of content that i have in the videos is useful 
if you have any queries if you have any suggestions feel free to reach out to me on this email or feel free to comment in any of the videos which you know, wherever you're watching so that's it like and share this video subscribe to this channel so that i can keep bringing all the latest tutorials from the cloud hosting world thank you very much and i'll see you in the next one